can leaders work to build a learning organization? What's involved in that process? I think there are three components of building a learning organization. The first is recognizing the case for change or the case for learning. To simply stand up and say, we need a learning organization, everyone says, I I'm kind of busy, you know, um, I'll, I'll wait until you grow out of this. So it's really important to have a clear strategic case. Why is becoming a learning organization going to benefit the firm, the customers, and the individual employee? The second thing, you need to follow through with giving people the resources, the capabilities, and the time they need in order to change behaviors. Mm. If this is an organization that's been 120% focused on operational excellence, and you say, okay, we're going to have innovation, but you don't free up anyone's time, you don't give anyone the skills, you don't give anyone the space, mm. you're going to have trouble. I apologize, this is such a basic point. No, it's... But I meet so many firms yeah. where they don't seem to quite have control of that point. So right. that's the second point. Yeah, that's actually profound. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then the third key to me is actually modeling that in your day-to-day -day behavior. Mm. Because it can't just be that you tell the firm to become a learning organization and the leadership team seems just as rigid and just as closed and just as unwilling to learn as it did before. And so really modeling the behavior of openness, taking risks, making mistakes, modeling the behavior of delegation of authority, because of course a learning organization learns right through the organization. You can't have 10 people at the top who do all the learning. Mm. So really modeling that behavior would seem to me to be the third pillar.